everyone welcome back to my channel today I have my February favorites and it's actually going to be a pretty short video I only have five like beauty stuff to share with you and then of course my music favorites so let me start with a skincare item that I just reviewed it was literally the last video <laughs> that you saw on this channel this is by Derma E it is the purifying daily detox scrub it is amazing especially if you have oily skin and you live in an urban area because it helps with all the impurities all the toxins and the pollution so it's really great stuff I will leave the review linked over here in the little cards as well as in the information bar if you haven't seen that video another product that I've been reaching for a lot in the month of February and I also have have a beauty by review on this. This is by Pure Minerals. It is their Hydro Fluid Water Serum Foundation. This is the lightest weight foundation I've ever tried. It literally doesn't feel like anything on my skin. It doesn't have like the greatest coverage in the world. I would say it's light to medium, but it's very natural. So if you have any freckles or any blemishes, they will show through. But if you have some discoloration, it will kind of blur those imperfections. I've been reaching for this a lot in the month of February just because the weather here in San Diego is a little bit hotter hotter than in other places so I don't want to put something really heavy on my skin when it's hot outside so I've been reaching for this and it's such a great foundation. Now I want to talk about two brushes that I've been using a lot in February and also one of them in January as well. Let me start off with the Real Techniques one. This is the Real Techniques, what is this? The setting brush. So it looks like this. I have two of them because I got the buy one get one free deal at Ulta which was amazing and this I love of using it to just diffuse my concealer here in the under eye area and also I have another one that I use to set my under eye concealer with powder so one of them I use for liquid concealers the other one to set my concealer the reason why I love this brush especially for the under eye area is because it's able to diffuse the concealer so well so if you don't like your concealer to look too heavy this is perfect for that and it's also perfect to just set your concealer so as you can see it just fits in that area so well this is so soft you can also use it to highlight if you want it to. It's just a really great brush. It's like $8 I believe so it's very affordable as well. Another brush that I've been using a lot in the month of February is this one by Morphe. This was recommended by Tati of Glam Life Guru and this is the E27 so it's a crease blending brush. It's quite big actually so it's probably the biggest <laughs> blending brush that I have in my collection but I really really like it just because you can diffuse all the shades like any any eyeshadow. It doesn't matter what color it is but it just diffuses it so softly is what I use today to create this look. I think it's the perfect like blending brush and also if you want to apply any transition shades this is just like perfect for that. It's super soft and it's just really great quality for the price. It, it, was, it wasn't very expensive at all so I really really like this. And last but not least I have some lip liners I've been using a lot. These are by Colourpop. They're five dollars each so they're very affordable once again. I've spoken about Colourpop so many times are my favorites. I think I've mentioned Colourpop at least five or six times already. <laughs> so I'm a huge fan of Colourpop. I haven't mentioned their lip liners, but I've been really loving them, especially lately. I find that they're really creamy, very pigmented, and the shades just work with so many lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> lip liners now. They're just so great. These are like plastic so they're not the wooden like lip pencils but you do need to sharpen them. I don't have any trouble sharpening them. I just use either my Clinique um, sharpener or the Tati LOC um, sharpener. So they sharpen really well. These are just ugh, the creamiest lip liners ever. I love them. As for music favorites, I've been really enjoying this up and coming Swedish pop artist. Her name is Leon. She's Swedish but I don't know if it's pronounced like in Spanish or like in French but her name is Leon. <laughs> she is fantastic if you're a fan of Tove Lo or Leaky Lee or any other Swedish pop singer then you'll really love her I think. I just really like Swedish pop. I've spoken about this so many times already. It's like any Scandinavian pop. It can be Norwegian pop, Danish pop. I just think the best pop music comes from that region <laughs> in Europe. So if you haven't checked Leon out I will leave a song linked down below in the information bar and I've been also listening to a lot of the Schwartzman brothers and that's not a name of the group but it should be it should be so we have Jason Schwartzman who's obviously an actor 
actor and you guys probably will recognize him especially if you're into Wes Anderson movies and he is just amazing. I love his movies but I also love his singing. <laughs> so he has a project called Coconut Records. He hasn't released any new Coconut Records music which oh, I wish he would because I love Coconut Records but if you're not familiar with his music I will leave some songs linked down below. Coconut Records is very upbeat and kind of like I guess like indie pop sort of it's just very upbeat and very like californian music so i really enjoy it i will leave it down below and then you also have his younger brother robert schwartzman who used to be in the band rooney and if you remember rooney come on we need to be friends because that's like middle school and high school for me <laughs> so Rooney obviously another like very Californian like beachy sound and if you watch the OC then you probably recognize that music so Rooney was great but he also has his he has other projects so he has solo Bob which is kind of like funkier and then he also released some music just as a solo artist and I was listening to his album. I don't know how I missed out on that album but it's really really good so I will leave some songs linked down below. It's again really kind of funky and like upbeat so I will leave both Jason Schwartzman's music and also Robert Schwartzman's music linked down below. So that's it for my February favorites. I'm sorry I didn't have too many beauty products to share but honestly I've been loving a lot of the same things and by now I think you guys are all tired of hearing about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers and all these things that I use like basically every single time that I do my makeup. So I think I did you guys a little favor by not repeating those products over and over and over again because by now you get it I love them <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what your favorites were I would love to know if you're brand new to this channel please take the moment to subscribe by clicking right over here and I will see you guys very soon in my next video bye another thing I'm enjoying and this is like very very recent so I started making my own hummus and it's just so much fun I, I've always loved hummus like since I the way I exfoliate my face is I just do really small circles all over